two, three, one. All right, guys, let's have a look at Moonlight Melody. Now, this is a whimsical little piece, which is not too difficult to learn, all right? But it does have one little tricky part to it, which we'll go over in just one second, all right? Let's first find our hand position. So, you're gonna start third finger on G, in the left hand, all right? Here, and that puts you in this kind of, this E minor hand position. E minor five finger hand position. The right hand is just in a C position, C five finger position, okay? So it should look like this with your thumbs on adjacent half tones, okay? C and B, All right? Try and not let your hand stray from this position during this piece, except for the very, very end of the piece, all right? Now, the one tricky thing on this piece is if you'll look at it, the second measure is there's an A flat in the second measure. And then in the third measure, there's an A natural. And then in the fourth measure, back to an A flat. All right. And the same thing happens on the third line. Okay. Now, every time you read A flat or A natural, try and play with your second finger. Because if you don't do that, you might get a little confused with your fingerings. Okay. So... The other thing we need to go over is this figure that we see in the right hand on measure five, six, and seven, okay? Now this is a kind of a pattern. It's also in the left hand, by the way, that we see throughout this piece, okay? So we're gonna start on our third finger in measure five, right? There's two eighth notes and it's ascending stepwise. You're gonna ascend two notes to the G, right? And then you're going to return back down a third to the note that you started on. So it looks like this, E, F, G, E, okay? Now that pattern is the entire line, except it's step by step lower. So the next one is on D, same pattern. Going up two notes, returning to where you started, and then go down another step in the next measure. Um, same thing, starting from C. Up two notes, back to where you started. Okay, now in the, le in the left hand, this happens in bars three and 11. Same thing, except you're starting on G. Going up two notes, back to where you started. Okay, uh, what else is there to look at? Hmm. The right hand, maybe the chords, all right? So here are the chords in the right hand. We have the chord in the first measure, C and E and a chord in the second measure. Play with your second and fourth fingers. Now that's really important. Try not to move your hand up and down. Just use different fingers. D and F, okay? Those are the only two chords in the piece. So it's either C and E or D and F. So have a, have a look about that. All right, so C and E are on lines. It's easy to spot that one because there's a middle C in that chord. D and F are on two spaces, okay? And the very last point I wanna make before we uh, break up is the last measure. So when we were playing the last line, here's the last line. Notice the pattern we're playing. And then we play that C and E chord and then your left hand goes over and you play C and E again, but with your left hand. Okay, so again, here we go. with your left hand two, two and four, okay? And 
that's pretty much it. So if you're looking at that first line, the first line can be a little bit diff difficult. Like we're starting G with our right hand chord on the lines, then A flat with our second finger, the second right hand chord, and then our right left hand pattern, and then play a flat. Okay, once you get used to doing that, this is not such a hard piece to play. Okay, good luck with your preparations, and we'll see you in the next video. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider clicking on that like button and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.